On day three, we woke up to a dreary morning on Nissan Bight. We had come in late the night before and missed this sign. We were happy we had not camped next to any carcasses. There have been two attempts to settle Cape Scott, and in 1912, Cape Scott had reached a population of 600 people, but most of them left at the start of World War I and never returned. Homesteads, farming relics, fields, fences, dikes, and their old corduroy road remain to hint at the stories of the past. Nell's Bight was just six kilometers away, so we made it there early. We were searching for a place to park our tents that was above the high tide line and stumbled upon this gem of a hidden site. Good thing, too, because the highest tides of the summer combined with a storm front left a lot of people on the beach scrambling for higher ground in the middle of the night. We got to spend the rest of our day exploring, and with two and a half kilometers of beach to explore, we had no trouble filling our day. Taco Friday. Tofurkey. The next day we made the seven kilometer walk to the Cape Scott Lighthouse. The walk alternated between the beach and a plank road that had been built in World War II to transport goods to the radar station on Cape Scott. I actually didn't bring a hairbrush, so. Whoa, look exactly. at him. Look how big he is. You big dude. The radar station was abandoned after the war and this lighthouse was built in 1960. It is one of the few manned lighthouses left in BC, and we were surprised by the manicured lawns and gardens at this remote location. The next day we walked the 18 kilometers back to San Joseph.
another shark. Good thing we didn't camp next to it. And that's it folks, that's the end of our trip to Cape Scott. If you like what you saw today, take a look at some of my other hiking videos up in that corner there, or you can watch whatever the algorithm chooses here. You can also subscribe to my channel right up here. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want notifications when I upload, you can hit that little bell button.